Well, howdy, 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 dear and senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another cold, 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 cold day. Oh, yes, at least here in the Pacific Northwest, Western Washington State, United States of America, what's known as the Pacific Northwest, which is right up in the, uh, not the uh, Olympic Peninsula of Washington State because, you know, there's the peninsula, there's the sound that comes down, and then there's the main mass of Washington State. I'm up on the, uh, you know, there's the sound right down there at the bottom of the sound, which is like a sound is just a big, like a huge bay that splits off the peninsula. It's, yeah, well, I'll, maybe I got a picture, I don't know. Hard to say, hard to say. Not really important though, I just thought I'd waste a lot of time telling you about it. Yay. <coughs> After all, it's where I live. Nine in Shelton, under 10,000 people. I used to live for uh, 30, uh, about 34 of my 38 years at the time I moved out of Bellingham. I'd lived in Bellingham, Washington. It was grown quite a bit by the time I left so largely unrecognizable from where it had been when I was a child which only makes sense and then uh, moved to Blaine Blaine Washington which is right on the Canadian American border literally right on the Canadian border if where I used to live with my wife you could walk three blocks to get to this park and it's Peace Arch Park and when you're in Peace Arch Park if you're walking northward, you're in the United States, you're in the United States, oh, you're in Canada now. So you can walk into Canada through the park. Thumbs up. So yeah, you couldn't get much further north than that. <laughs> and so lived there for a couple of years until my wife, uh, well, until her heart went into full failure and then she had two heart valves replaced and ended up living in a nursing home for a little while until she got better. Then moved, we moved into an, an adult family home up in the uh, Bellingham Plain area. And then because my in-laws were taking care of my kids, we moved down to Olympia. We lived in the Black Lake apartment. In fact, specifically, we lived in the Black Lake apartments and the Black Lake uh neighborhood of Olympia right in the Black Lake apartment so it's I got to know that part of the neighborhood pretty good I still go to the Petco there I like the Barnes and Noble that's right in that area you know if you've ever been there it's not I love bookstores I love bookstores I love books so I wish I had a lot of money I could spend it I gotta get that trailer let's see anything else really happening in my life I'm kind of yeah, health-wise still. I got that cough. I can't clear my sinuses. Other than that, though, I'm feeling not too bad. I feel kind of icky physically still, but only like um, on the full spectrum of here's where I feel completely healthy and here's where I feel like completely sick. I have been... Uh, during this bloody cold that I've had, like, let's see, which one's the which side was which? This one's the sick side or the healthy side? Okay, we're going to call this side the sick side, but we're going to call this side the healthy side. For now that I've reversed it. Okay. Sick side, healthy side. Right? Left, sick, right, healthy. There we go. So, I've been like uh, right around in here on the uh, sick side you know I should be over here but I've been over here you know right now I'm about right here I don't feel thoroughly 100% yet but I don't feel terrible 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 either so yeah I mean right now my body doesn't actually feel all that wonderful I've got like a headache my uh, skin still kind of feels well, my skin hurts in kind of an illness way, but very, very little, very minor compared. So, on the whole, feeling pretty good physically. Mentally, don't know why. My depression's still bad. Uh, more of a generalized overall, 
I'm feeling depressed kind of feeling instead of which what leads me to believe that um, it's the downward slope of my cycle because I have a two week cycle I'm bipolar yay so instead of anything in particular helping to cause any outside problems I just have a two week cycle and uh, I can't remember when I came out of the trough but you know that means eventually I go back down can't help that my manic cycle is is just uh, if everybody's base neutral line is right here my manic phase is here not even uh, uh, up where everybody else should be and then I plunge downward in the trough afterward for two weeks then come back up on the other side again yeah it's been the way all my life it's the cycle's been changed because I've been medicated for depression my whole life as well and I've never been fully completely and wonderfully medicated in fact right now it's uh, largely cannabis because my vehicle being broken I can't go see my psychiatrist at American Lake and so I've been able to see my psychiatrist and get my actual uh, antidepressant that's sertraline renewed so it's just cannabis right now but cannabis is an excellent antidepressant as well so thumbs up on that <coughs> Yes, my sincere apologies. I can't get rid of this bloody cough yet. It's not killing me, but it's not leaving yet either. It's just, ugh. I just don't want it to become uh, bronchitis. Oh, reach over, grab my keyboard. So that what I can do is go through and thank at least 20 people, approximately for leaving me comments in the comments section because that's what I like to do but instead of just uh, you see other places uh, this is freaking ridiculous uh, today is going to be a wonderful day I just hit uh, the community pad page so Google, Google Chrome ran out of memory while trying to display the web page yeah nine uh, tabs open and it runs out of memory when I ask it to show me the comments. So I just killed it. Took about five seconds to die. Let's leave it dead for a moment and then I'll reopen Chrome, which is what we're trying now. See if RAM clears up enough. Well, at least there's some words here, so I'll give it a shot. Now, if I mispronounce a name, no disrespect intended. It is me doing my best. I'm not really wonderful at names. If I would mispronounce my own name if I didn't you know, already know how to pronounce it. And my name's easy. It's just pronounced just like it's spelled. So, but I do my best. I do not deliberately mispronounce any names. Names have power, whether it's a name given to you or chosen by you. It hurts when they're mispronounced, which is why I try my best. So remember, no disrespect intended if I fail. And it's just, I'm doing this because I don't think that, you know, simple human contact needs to be a contest. Oh, it did shout out contest. You know, if you subscribe and like X number of videos, then you'll go into a pool. And then out of that pool of people, we'll generate a random number and one of you will get the shout out. No, that's ridiculous. That is why I'm going to go through and... Uh, Deverux? And then a capital C, D-E-V-E-R-U-X. Thank you so very much for your comment. And... Nicole Sterrett, S-T-E-R-R-E-T-T. -E -T. Thank you so very much. That's what it looks like. If I mispronounce or misspell a name, I'm uh, past uh, hand distance <laughs> to the screen. And I, with this eye, I can't see anything farther away than my fingertips. And so half of the screen is just fuzz, and half of it I can mostly read. This eye is far off, uh, the uh, far vision 
This one's near vision, but I've got astigmatism in both, so yeah. And creature, thank you so very much. Greatly appreciated. Swarth, 2300, S W A R T H, 2300. Now, I am not uh, actually reading comments, I'm just reading the uh, people's names leaving the comments. Unless something really leaps out, I'm just reading the people's comments. The comments, names, and not the actual comments. Like Nate Shakur, thank you for your comment, greatly appreciated. And David Landa, the worst maker. How about that? Gotta love that. And uh, Pockets. <laughs> Thank you very much there, Pockets. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Justin Yatsko. Thank you very much for your comment. Do not know what your comment was, but thank you for leaving a comment. Whether it's negative or positive, that happens. Uh, YouTube actually counts even negative comments as interaction and gives you a pat on the back and a good job, buddy. So even negative comments are thank you. That bumps up my interaction stats with YouTube. Uh, so if you're trolling me or saying something horrible, I'm not saying you are. It's just if anybody is, you know, that's still a thank you. I mean, you're bumping up my stats with YouTube and that's greatly appreciated. So thumbs up. Again, I'm not saying anybody did. It's just pointing out. And, uh, Observant Ori. O-R-I. <laughs> Very cool. And Thick Six. Thumbs up. Thank you so very much for your comment. I have to hit show more. And then... Oh! This one's Hip Hopopotamus. Pretty cool. I like that one. And A7XFan02, thank you very much for your comment. And, ooh, do you bleed? I bleed far too often. Not always blood, because not all wounds are physical, but yeah, I, I bleed. And, uh, oh, Chris Martin again. Chris Martin, Phantom, how about that? And, uh... Then Chris Cervantes. Ooh, is that like the Cervantes from Soul Edge, the old uh, fighting game on the PlayStation 1? That was a good game. First Soul Calibur and Soul Edge. That was a good, good game. And then, um, let's see, that's 15, so it would be uh, Ghostbuster. Thank you very much for your comment. And Christian Cox, C O X. <laughs> And Panic at the 21 Crybaby Fandom. How about that? How about that? Very, very cool. Thank you for your comment. And E.H. Miguel. Thank you very much for your comment. And then Laramon. L-A-R-I-M-O-N. Number 20. Thank you so very much for your comment. Greatly appreciated. Again, didn't actually read the comments. Just thanking you for your leaving a comment because I don't know what the comment actually is. Well, we're 13 minutes into this. I don't really have a ton to say because I'm, like I said, I'm having difficulties with my depression uh, today and so I am very sorry. I'm going to try, try and get uh, either Firewatch or Creativeverse done today as well as at least two reactions. So, Here's hoping. Here is hoping. So thumbs up. I'm not going to do the greeting thing again today. I just don't have the, uh, I don't have the mental energy necessary to do that. And I'm very, very sorry because it is rude of me not to do so after I've made it a big thing. That I've made it part of my routine, part of all this. And now that I'm actually not doing it, I feel bad. Not so bad that I'm going to do it because... I also do feel a little bit on the physically not so wonderful side as well as just mentally not so wonderful. So, yeah, I'm I'm gonna feel better. I I'm almost over this bloody bloody cold. Now the the uh, Veterans Administration bus isn't gonna be back until the third through the sixth of January. So it's going to be another freaking month before I'm going to be able to get my uh, testosterone shot. 
So hopefully I'm not at a critical level right now. Because if I am at a critical level, uh, then I'm going to get cellulitis in one of my legs and I'm going to be offline for a while because when I do get cellulitis, uh, they're going to be fighting to keep me alive in the hospital. Uh, the last couple of times I've gotten uh, cellulitis in my legs, because that's where I get them. My lymph system in my legs is destroyed. I don't have a lymph system in my legs anymore. It has been burnt out, just destroyed by how many times I've had cellulitis and how severe it's been. And cellul cellulitis is just an infection of your skin. And that, while that doesn't sound bad, it kills. I mean, you can get just, it can be just a little tiny pinprick, tinier something that you can even see. That you can't even see the cut. But because your immune system is so low, the natural bacteria and such living on your skin gets into that little cut that you can't even see. And then if it's like your arm, just because you know it's easier for me to use than to try and point at my leg where you can't see. Let's say it's my arm that was right there, a little pinpoint that I can't even see that got infected. If I got that happening with cellulitis, my entire arm up to my shoulder would be swollen and red, just radiating heat. When your skin gets sick, it gets sick hard and fast. My This entire, because I've had cellulitis in my hand once, and my hand looked like a gigantic flesh glove. It didn't have a, it wasn't a hand. I called it the claw. And so it's, ugh. I mean, I generally get my wounds on my feet. We figure around my feet. But my legs swell up to the hip with the, the infection. And I've gotten it so bad that I've gone septic every time. And that's not good for you. I mean, it used to be if you went septic, 70% chance, boom, you were dead. I mean, it's just anyone who went septic. Septic is just your blood is infected. You're so sick, your blood is turned into infected sludge inside of your veins. It used to be that if you went septic 70% of the time, that was it, you were dead. Now, it only kills about 30% of the people that go septic. Only. And I've gone septic more times than I can really easily count. So, I'm going to get that shot soon. I drive to the VA, but my van is not working yet. I got to get it to some place where I can fix it. I don't know how to, to haul it. I don't have a another vehicle to tow it and it's just sitting in the yard and I can't drive it someplace to get it worked. I don't know what to do with that. And my problems are such that I don't even know how to start to ask the questions to figure out how to fix problems. I just end up looking at problems going, oh God. And then staring and then months and years pass as I don't know what to do and I don't even know the questions to ask. So I can't just go like, hey, can you help me with this? I've got this. It's because it's like this. Cool. Can you? Oh, God. I. Huh. So it, it's wonderful. I love being me. You take care. Have a great day. I'm way past longer than I meant to do this, and I'm so sorry. So you take care. Have a great day. I meant to chop this off five minutes ago, but I'll see you on the flip side, and uh, that is a very good thing. So you take care.